just use your Tamagotchi to check your TV? Yeah. This week, we threw it all the way back to the 90s and played with Tamagotchis. I honestly don't know how long I've had my original Tamagotchi. I actually was a Tamagotchi hoarder. I think I had like a Neopet or a Gigapet because it was like free in a Happy Meal or something. I had just lost a tooth and decided that night that I was going to write a letter to the Tooth Fairy saying that instead of a quarter, I think it'd be really cool if she brought me a Tamagotchi. Me and my brother got them because my mom told us that we had to keep our Tamagotchis alive in order to get a dog. We both killed our Tamagotchis, but we still ended up getting a dog, so I don't know how that lesson really worked out. This little guy just showed up on my desk and without any instructions. I'm so excited to rip this open and start taking care of it. I really hope I don't kill it. The new version is super duper small, so I'm excited to see how it's gonna be. Oh my god! It is so little! I'm gonna pull this tab right now, which is like the best feeling ever, and bring him to life. <gasps> Juggling this and work is a little tough. I have to find a babysitter when I'm going to a really important meeting because I don't want it to go off when I'm on a call. Auntie Liz is taking care of my Tamagotchi. I think I'm feeding him. So apparently, my Tamagotchi was beeping and I had my headphones on at work, so Tanner yelled at me. Yeah, it was crying. She was ignoring it. She's a bad Tamagotchi mom. Tanner, are you my temp dad for the Tamagotchi? Me and Gachi is what I call my Tamagotchi for short, had truly one of the best weekends of our lives. We went out in the East Village, we walked the Brooklyn Bridge, we went to the Giants game. We shared the most beautiful New York weekend. I feel like I've had supernatural experiences with my Tamagotchis and this one wasn't an exception. I'm honestly kind of tired of taking care of him because there's nothing that exciting that's happening. Oh my god, he totally heard me! Did you see that? This Tamagotchi's just like, he listens, like, he's in there. <laughs> I love that we're talking, like... You see? It's like, it knows. Every time I call him boring. Every single time a poop came up, I just laughed. Because there's nothing more funny than poop. Something happened. He's got like four poops. I'm gonna clean up his poops right now. Oh, he's so much happier. Randomly would message, like, would start pinging me if I was sitting there, not doing anything, and be like, clean my poop, bitch. It did not go as I expected. I lost my Tamagotchi. I'm super nervous because I lost my Tamagotchi. I looked at home, I looked in my desk, but I can't find it, like, anywhere. But I did my best. But I did find it, right? This is dead. I just, you know, some people aren't meant to parent things in life, and I realize that. The only fight me and Gachi got in this week was when he woke me up at like 7 a.m. just begging for food. Good morning. My Tamagotchi won't stop beeping. It's so annoying. Everyone wants to pick it up and play with the buttons and feed it and kind of relive that joy they had when they were a kid. You love a Tamagotchi! Yeah. It definitely brought back memories that I hadn't really thought about since I moved here. One guy actually next to me on the subway who heard the beep go off and then like turned to me and was like, whoa, that sound just brought me back straight to the 90s. Even though the experience wasn't as exciting as I expected, I was happy to play like I used to when I was a kid. These used to mean so much to me because they were kind of like my friends on the go. So it was just cool to think about that. Being a gachi daddy was fun. Clearly, I'm not cut out to be a parent. It made me miss being a kid and just like having fun, hanging out and laughing about cleaning up my Tamagotchi's poop really brought me back to my roots, you know? <laughs> Put it on my tombstone that I love to clean up Tamagotchi poop. It was so fun. Thank <laughs> you.